I love street tracks. It's the true feeling of being on the limit. Feels a bit like being with a wild lion in a cage. You know, it's, you, you know, you can't do any mistakes, or the consequence can be quite high. Oh, Charles Leclerc has gone into the barriers. Street circuits are nuts. The adrenaline is high, concentration's high. There's less time to think. There's less time to rest. Less time to breathe. You make a mistake, and you're most likely in the wall, or the session's over. Daniel, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's horrendous. It's her it's terrifying. It's exciting. It's like a, a really cool roller coaster ride, but without the seatbelts. That kind of thing. Where you might just fall out. <laughs> this feels faster when you've got walls around and if you try and push the car and you make a mistake then you hit a wall. Yeah, streets are scary. I get afraid to go back to Monaco every season. It's that nerve wracking. You never know how close you are consistently every lap to having a very big crash. You never know what is the limit and you will love not to find the limit because then, then it's, it's too late and you will crash into the walls. On the street you need to be extra focused. You cannot hit lap one in practice uh, as hard as you do in a normal circuit. You need to build up into it. One simple mistake can lead to breaking the car into a wall. The red flag, uh, car is safe. Switch the car off. Sorry, guys. It is a hell of a, of a challenge for, for us drivers. Um, and probably even more now, because visibility is not so good in these cars with the big wheels. Ideally. You just want to be able to fit a piece of paper between your, your tires and the barrier. Uh, that's you know, the, the perfect way, let's say, but obviously no driver is ever like that for, for every corner of every lap. I prefer just the permanent tracks because you can, uh, you can push a lot more. Of course the scenery is really cool on a street circuit, but I always feel like you're within a certain limit, whereas you go on, on the permanent tracks. I feel like you can just go 101% instead of like 98 because you are in between walls. You're trying to use the track, but you're not trying to lean on the barriers to, you know, go fast. So if you do brush, then usually you're just lucky and you got away with it. You have no windows for error because a little mistake in race track might be okay, but in the straight that uh, basically makes you go into the wall. What makes it frustrating for us as drivers is for the viewer it looks very easy in a way and you see the onboards and it looks nice and comfortable. Within the car, you're really wrecking it. Approach to the street circuit is build the confidence, which I'm currently not good at. Last year in Monaco, I crashed. Uh, hit the rear. Getting as close to the wall as you can, uh, like Monaco, for example. Uh, you know that when you come back and, uh, and the rear ends are good to, to throw away, you've done a good job. It's all about having confidence to get close to the barriers and push the car to the limit. You always want to be close to the walls and, and maximize the circuit, but uh, when you are uh, too close, um, Formula One cars are so fragile. You don't want to hit it too hard, but you can, you can just, you know, uh, scratch it. That's the cool thing about street circuits. When you get to the limit, you can feel it. You brace your body like you're like uh, by the end of a quality lab you're like oh I need to hit the wall oh I need to hit the wall and it all seems to a good quality lab normally when you're close to the walls. It's quite impressive out there. Good job. It's uh, a little bit of close your eyes and hope for the best, especially when it comes to qualifying. That is P4. What up? Hey hey! Oh, that's a good feeling, isn't it? It's a beautiful feeling when you end up going like this close to the walls on the limit. It's, it's pretty cool. There's always, you know, a bit more of a risk to it and, and that makes it kind of thrilling and it's also really interesting to see how quickly we as a driver adapt. Actually, you need to adapt very quickly. It feels very, very special. Everything is going by so quickly. It feels incredible when you manage to hook something up so beautifully on a, on a street track because your heart rate is definitely higher 
on a lap through the streets than it is compared to an ordinary circuit because the risks are so much higher. It scares you, but you want more. I've never described it like this, but it's kind of like watching a horror movie where you're closing your eyes, but you don't like it, but you like it. And it's kind of like that. <laughs> but it just feels like you are in your zone. You don't think about anything else other than just trying to do the best job possible and to be as precise as possible. P1.